But this idea, like, like you just said, of, of holding space is creating an environment to where people can be honest and be vulnerable, uh, which is very, very, very um, difficult for, for the majority because they've been lied to their entire lives and they've been told that that's not okay. Like it's not okay to, to talk about what's really going on. You got to put up this front and social media has, has done an incredible job at showing people that like, hey, it's all about the highlight reel. It's all about showing the best parts of your life and completely keeping those, those hidden areas hidden. Um, so I think, man, you're on to such an incredible, um, incredible start to that. I mean, it's, it's, it's more important than people realize. Ultimately, vulnerability is the way human beings connect. Yeah. And we want to be able to connect with people uh, on another level. This is the paradox, right? We think when we're vulnerable, people will perceive us as weak. Mm -hmm. But when we're vul vulnerable, that's when people are like, wow, you're so strong. And I'll challenge you on your definition of vulnerability. If we're looking at the definition of vulnerability as like, here's a piece of armor and there's a vulnerability right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would say that that is the same as weakness, but I would view vulnerability in this way as strength, ultimate strength, in the being able to show emotion. Because if you had somebody come up on stage that was vulnerable, you would say that person's being courageous. But we all look at vulnerability and we say, oh, that person, it, it's a sign of weakness. It's the ultimate form of strength. And, and to me, the ability to use your emotions if we are on a team and we have a coach come out here and this coach were to try to, you know, rally us to go into the, to the, the second half when we're down, you know, down in the score. If he were to come out here and use emotions and get emotional, like those are the things that are going to pull like our insides out. But I think it is a problem in that, you know, we're sitting here talking about it and we don't, we don't have any idea how to do it. And so it's all about this idea of creating space. And I think, you know, we've, we've all hopefully got somebody that we can have these type of conversations with. And I think it's, it's vital. That is the ability to connect by being vulnerable and by being open to vulnerability, um, which for men especially is not, um, it's not a natural state to be in, to be vulnerable with one Well, we're talking, we're even taught not to. I mean, yeah. I think if you look at why I stopped and you look at all the stories, there is like almost across every single story, the common denominator that is found in every story is there is an element of shame. Yeah. Um, that people have to work through. And you, you hit the nail on the head, like shame thrives in secrecy, hmm. right? And shame just, when you don't deal with shame, it just perpetuates the cycle over and over again. And so, Shame thrives in secrecy, so the first step is recognizing that you're not alone in all of this. Part of holding space for another guy is making sure that you're being authentic and true and vulnerable to yourself. I got issues, I got emotions, I need to talk about them. I mean, we're all doing something on social media, and I, I mean, I'll just say this for myself. Part of the reason I do it is I got stuff I need to get off, like I need to say. Mm -hmm. I got emotions I need to give to my kids or talk about with leadership. I need, I need to say them, and I hope they benefit somebody else, but I need to know other people. I, need, I want other people to know that I'm being honest with myself, that I have emotions and I have, I have things going on in my life that resonates and empathizes with somebody else, and hopefully that means I can hold space for that. And my dad, was in, my dad was in the third Ranger Battalion, and, and uh, I'm sure you, his dad didn't talk about emotions a lot. And so, you know, for me to be kind of the first one of, of our family to be more in touch with my emotions and, and more transparent and vulnerable, um, you know, it has to start somewhere. But I think for me, those things can always be broken by opening up your mind through books and podcasts and, and, and movies and travel that you know just because that's the way it's always been doesn't mean it has to stay that way and i think that's the power of social media and the power of of the fact that at our fingertips we have access to learning so much